Well, I've been using my Samsung Chromebook Pro for about three weeks now. Um, although I am using a different one. Um, the, the one I was using before that I did the last review had some issues with the screen. It had like some ghost or phantom touches on the touch screen. And so looking online, I saw that it was an issue with some of the Chromebook Pros and Pluses. Uh, people suggested to, uh, if you could return it, uh, because the only other way to take care of it is sending it into Samsung to get it fixed. And they also said that if you start exhibiting the issue, it will get worse. So it showed up about uh, six days into my 15 day Best Buy return window. And so I took it back, got another one. Uh, I, I actually put a decal from Decal Girl on this. Uh, I thought it might protect the finish a little bit. And I actually had this on on the old one and uh, had to pull it off, which you're not supposed to be able to do, but it worked. Uh, Decal Girl was really, uh, they were pretty cool about it. They, they actually said if I would uh, pay for shipping, they would send me another one, but I was able to get this one to work uh, pretty well. And I appreciate them willing to work uh, with me, even though uh, it had nothing to do with their product. So there's a couple of things I wanted, wanted to, to show you on this. Uh, as, as far as the, the uh, device itself, uh, it has pretty high resolution. Uh, if you go into the displays, and I know you're not going to be able to see this, it, it, it goes all the way up to uh, 2600 or 2400 by 1600. And, uh, oh, oh, great, that's, that's not helpful. And uh, let's see, I'll scroll down here. Uh, and when I set it at that, one of the things that I noticed uh, was that uh, using my touch screen on at least uh, Squid, which is what I use uh, at least most of the time at this point, uh, the screen would flash and I couldn't figure it out. I thought it was it was the program, but when I set the resolution a, a lower, it, it didn't do it anymore. So uh, if you have that experience, uh, it could be worth the resolution. Uh, one of the things I wanted to talk about uh, in this review is, is, is kind of how this has changed some of what I do. I'm, I, as you can see, I'm doing a lot of handwritten notes in Squid. And one of the nice things is uh, uh, if I'll, I'll get into one of these, uh, is, is that I can export it, export into, uh, you know, I, I know you might not be able to see this, but it has entire note, this page, the file format is a PDF, a PNG or a JPEG. And, uh, if I do it to like, say a J really any of those, it actually gives me an option to share, uh, to the device, Dropbox, Evernote, Facebook, uh, journey, uh, one note. I usually do either OneNote or Evernote. And so that I, I have found that helpful uh, because as you know, a OneNote and I think even Evernote, they will search on graphics and will search on your handwritten notes. But my handwriting is actually horrific. And so sometimes that search doesn't work. I discovered another app that allows you to do uh, handwriting, handwritten notes uh, called Nebo. And the nice thing about Nebo, let me get out of this one and do a, a, a new thing. And I'm going to have to change, change a little bit here because uh, I, I have found this helpful. What Nebo does, and let me get it. Okay. So if I type this is a test, you can see it's pretty, pretty responsive. Uh, up here, uh, you might not be able to see it in the camera, but it actually says this is a test. And so as you as you write, it will uh, take put it in the text, uh, which is actually pretty cool uh, and helpful. And as, as bad as my writing can be, uh, it, it does a pretty good job. I wrote this is is bad, which uh, and it got it. Uh, you know, if if I want to get rid of a word, I I scratch it out and it goes away. And they have other things that you can do. You can do bulleted lists uh, by just 
And if you look, it's, uh, although uh, one of the things I notice is to do a new paragraph, I have to skip a line. So, and then when I convert it, uh, let me see if I can remember how to convert it. Nope. Uh, oh, you have to use your finger to convert it. So, and it d did the bullet there, but I missed some other stuff. And so I had some gestures. I'm still learning the gestures. The, the thing I don't like about this, uh, well, the option I wish it had, I wish it would, uh, it would uh, save or export uh, the notes as uh, some sort of graphic file. Uh, the options you have is to uh, export as a Word file, which can be helpful, uh, share as text, and if you share it as text, uh, once again, it pulls up uh, all the different ways that you can share it, you know, drop it right into OneNote uh, or Evernote or uh, or uh, uh, Dropbox uh, Drive. Um, but as you do that, it will automatically convert it to text. So whatever you write down, it will convert to text. And you know, like I said, it does a pretty good job with my handwriting. Now, I, I wanted to do one other thing as far as the writing's concerned. Uh, OneNote, which I use quite a bit. I go back and forth between this and Evernote, but I've been uh, working uh, most recently with, with OneNote. Uh, when you write, uh, it is not nearly as responsive. So it's, it's still doable. Uh, it's not horrible, but uh, it's, it's certainly not as good as uh, the other two programs that you know they're really trying to work to make sure that you it's more like writing on paper I'm still working out my workflow uh, because I do like to take handwritten notes uh, I, I would like to get it into OneNote or Evernote I would like to be able to do uh, as I read books to be able to take notes that way uh, so I'm, I'm still working on that I might do another uh, video in the future uh, but I thought some of you uh, might be interested in uh, some of the, the apps uh, that use the screen. And if you have any questions, uh, leave them in the comments. And uh, I'm, I might do another video um, once I get my workflow figured out. How to get OneNote, Evernote, uh, these programs. Do I take meeting notes in OneNote? Do I do it in, in uh, Squid, uh, Squid or do I do it in Nebo? I'm still trying to figure all that out. Oh, I should mention that Nebo is $5.99. So uh, I had some credit, Google Play credit, so I used that. And uh, uh, Squid is, if you get their uh, premium uh, edition, allows you to uh, uh, do uh, PDF files. It is a uh, dollar a month or $12 a year. And now as I'm saying that, I realize I also use a Zodo, uh, X-O-D-O, uh, for some of my PDF as well, and that's free. And I might, uh, might do a, a, a review on that, uh, just kind of how, how I'm using it. So I uh, hope that you found this uh, helpful, and uh, thanks for watching. You have a great day.